looks like Joke will start with it first. So first and 10 at the 27, that's where Joke will go to work over Sapa. Interesting first drive right here. See what Joe can come up with. Is they pause the game real quick. I don't, I don't know what that's about. Going to have an early pause, and that's going to cost Safa a timeout. Anytime you pause the game, and it's not for an admin issue, that's going to cost you a timeout. Yeah, that, that's the rule, exactly like you said it, Coulter. And if you pause the game like you saw Chaos did earlier in the season where he's having a controller problem for an admin issue, they're not going to make you use a timeout. But if you're pausing it for a strategic reason, whether you, you want to think about something a little bit more, you want to go into your depth chart and make a substitution, that's when you're going to have to use one of those timeouts. So first and 10 at the 27, after they set all their audibles, Joke with the opening drive, and Safa's right there. Jabril Peppers brings down Walker. So second and 11 now. Carson Wentz. Will get hit, and that's a big sack, a loss of 10. See it again, you, you don't have all day. And Brown makes the sack. Yeah, big, big defense right there by Safa. Gets joking an awkward third and 21. And if you're joking, you need to be careful to not throw a book right here and turn the ball over deep in your own territory. Wentz rolling left. Playmakers up the field, nothing there. He's gonna let it ride anyway. That's it's gone. gonna be picked yeah, off. The book. Night train lane. Let's go. Come on. And look at Safa. He doesn't care if he's playing his friend or mentor or crew leader or whatever it may be. He's here to win. He's going to leave it all out on the field, and he's going to show emotion regardless. And that's the awkward thing about these camps is you can practice with people, you can train with them, but at the end of the day, it's 1v1, Scott. You guys might have to do battle, and when that time comes, you still got to leave it all out on the field on the virtual gridiron. I don't think Safa's going to have any trouble with that. First and 10. Mariota delayed a walker. Try to recover on the stumble. We'll get to the 30. It'll bring up a second and eight. Be interesting to see Joke said he feels his strength is going to be this defense that he can play. I'm really interested to see what Safa can do on offense against Joke. Who's going to be able to impose their will here? Joke with a lot of people in that box. Look at all those goons in the box, Cole. Mariota. There's the blitz. Whitehead with a takedown. Both players getting each other in a third and long type situation. More importantly, that pushed him out of field goal range. Bunch to the right, solo left. He goes to Harrison late, dragging across the field. And he'll have an opportunity to kick it, and that's just not that's not Musafa. He doesn't. That's not. He doesn't live that life. He's going for it. This may be a, just. You know, this could be a matchup thing. Maybe if you're playing up against, you know, somebody that you're not as comfortable with, you, you take your three. We got another pause here. Another pause going on. I don't, know, I don't know what's up with that. Banjo, banjo, banjo. You're sitting on the couch with someone. They pause mid-game. That's that's fighting words. Fourth and three at the 26, he's going for it. Four going the field goal. He's gonna use his second timeout. Three minutes to go in the first. And he's gonna decide to take the points. 
So he gets the interception, and then he gets the field goal. That's like three free points. Yeah, and for Safa, if you open up the game and you get a stop early, why not go ahead and take the points, get your defense back out there? And remember, Joe, we saw in his last game of the season, was really struggling on offense against True Boy. Be interesting to see if those struggles continue here for him. It was an ugly, ugly offensive game for Joke. Echo Fox Joke, hoodie Joke. Echo Fox hooked him up with some nice gear. First and ten from the thirty. Through an INT. Last time he had it. Look at all those adjustments on both sides of the ball. And he'll hand it off to Walker. Second and nine. Ball at the 31, 248. Here left in the opening quarter. Trailing by a field goal is Echo Fox Joe. Little single back doubles right here. That's a new formation we've seen from him. Probably still looking for a stretch or a dive. There's the stretch. I'm telling you, Scott, anytime you see one of these guys come under center from those single back type looks. Or forget it, the dive. under center regardless. You got to be ready for the inside outside run. More often than not, when someone comes out under center in one of those type of formations, they have a dive in their audibles along with some sort of toss or stretch or something to get it to the outside. And you got to be ready to account for that stuff. Wentz. Throws it in the coverage, nearly picked off. And it'll be fourth down. If, even if you're a beginner user, Scott, and you're at home, you're playing up against your buddy, use that audibles on the fly mechanic. Press left trigger at the play call screen to change your audibles. Try putting in a dive and a stretch in your audibles. And you come to the line of scrimmage and the D-line spread, you run that dive. If they're pinched in close, you run that stretch. Play a little game of cat and mouse. And a lot of people have trouble stopping those simple type of concepts. I mean, once you get to the ultimate league, obviously they're prepared for that type of thing, but something that basic could really help you. First and 10 at the 32 for Sapa, oh, and he throws football. a pick. Amos, and Joke gets it right back. And Joke said he was going to play good defense against the Sapa bunch. And look at this, he's going to click onto that cornerback. That's a user pick. And that's good stick work right there. You talk about it all the time, Coltrane. You want to click on and make plays yourself, not let the AI do it for you. A good example of that right there from Joe. So a turnover. And we're going to go double box here because Drini is down all the way at the one, trailing by three. And he punches it in for six. So Drini takes the lead over True. Seven to nothing. Over there on the left, on the right side, Joke after the turnover. Going to be facing a third down at the 38. Yeah, and one thing Donnie Moore flew into me before this game is that Greeny True Boy game, there's something significant there because the winner of that game, if it came down to it, would own the tiebreaker if they were tied at the end of the season. So it's not a game you want to give up. We know it can come get down to the nitty gritty. So you need to do all you can to give your best chance to make the playoffs, and that game could have some impact in that situation. So that's going to bring up a fourth and ten. And I'll bring up a fourth and ten. Oh, Wentz. Risky. See, Wentz is 0 for 4 with. One interception right now. It's going to be a first and 10 at the 36. Now 
Now push him back to the 39. So second and 12 from the 39. No, no, no. Off, off, off. Defensive battle right now, Scott. One, Nobody one, can get their one, offense one. going. One, one. Choke looks terrible on offense. Zoffa not looking too hot himself. Going up top. And he overthrew him. Literally fell out of his chair. Oh, man. And Zoffa does that man play with a lot of passion. Knows he oh, has a step man. on top, and Deshaun Jackson just doesn't have the wingspan to get to it. And we've seen his reaction when things go his way. There's, there's one when they don't. So third and 12. Gets a block. He's fired for the first. And so Safa. I'm just putting this out there. I mean, I know I mispronounced his name in Orlando. I called him Mustafa, Lion King style. But he's like, he's he's the man with the heart. He's the lion. <laughs> he could be the lion. I'm just King, saying, huh? even the beard, there's something there. There's something lying in it. And he's, he's kind of like you can't justify, royalty. You're not going to try to justify the Mustafa <laughs> over here. But I, I'm, I'm trying to get it to stick. Well, here at the end of the first, Drini has a 7 to 3 lead and Musafa leading 3 to nothing over Joke. Start of the second quarter between Musafa and Joke. It's a 3 nothing lead. I'm just I'm just trying to get it to stick. He's he's the lion. We don't have to call him Mustafa. I, I feel like you're trying to I'm just saying, the box. he's the man with the heart. For those that don't know, when we were in the club championship, Coltrane went. <laughs> what we go a whole game or two? We go to Mustafa. I didn't go a whole game, but it was the. It was a quarter or two, or I just I was way out of line. About a game and a half is what I'm being told. <laughs> Worse than a game. You don't feel bad. I, I've had players <laughs> literally change their name. Because I butchered the original one so bad. Shout out to Boogs. <laughs> yeah, Boogs. I was about to bring that up. It's Walker. Flattens a defender at the 13, and that'll give him a fresh set of downs for Safa. Half that draw play. Good use of truck. Marshall Walker. At one point, Snoop was Snoop Lion. Is there not anything there? There's nothing there? Safa, Lion, nothing? Coming up, I'm coming up bagels. You're not justifying this one, Cole. <laughs> First and 10 at the 13. Watch for the off tackle. That stretch to the left. And he's wide going. open. Touchdown, Safa Jones. He's just so focused. I, I really just admired the way he's approached this season after he just started off with the two losses. Ever since, he hasn't been down on himself. He has a good attitude. He's showing a lot of emotion, a lot of grit, a lot of fight. And the youngin' from Atlanta, Georgia. You don't know his name before this league started. You'll know it after. Jamal Daniels really making a name for himself. Nice stretch play. And easily walks in for Herschel Walker. Also from the state of Georgia. He's only 22 years old, born in 1995. That's young. I was getting it in on Sega back then. Super Nintendo. Little NHL 95. Here we go, here we go. Game. Oh, and there go. goes Herschel Walker for joke. Got free for a gain of 15. Ray Del Brito, a.k.a. Joke. Sponsored by Echo Fox. Currently on top of that group A in this Legends Conference. Four and two record. Let's play action here on first down. Playmakers up and threw it to Grant. Did not throw it to the playmaker. I'm just looking at these records, Coltrane, in this Legends 
Division A and Division B conference. You have five players out of the eight that have a record of three and three. So things are tight right now in the middle of this Ultimate League season in this Legend Conference. Herschel Walker able to pick up the first down. Joke just one of five through the air. But the whole first quarter without completing a pass. Hits the flats here to Walker. And Herschel's dumped at the 20. In the red zone. Joke, you just need to protect this ball. You can't get out of here without getting some sort of points. Obviously, touchdown's ideal. All the way down to the one. There's that C route we're talking about in the corner strike. Went 0 for his first four passes, but has completed his last three. I'm telling you, that, that route, that joke through right there, it's the main route that makes this gun punch so effective. That's a shorter version of that C route. He gets open against all types of coverage. It's an easy high-low read. You see them play low. You can bet that that C route's going to get open. You see them go and guard that. More often than not, the flat's going to be wide open. Easy AP read, and that's why so many of these players. Double box, double red zone. Joke at the one. First and goal. And he'll hand it off to Walker, who somehow avoided the defender who was darting in trying to submarine him. And that'll put Joke within striking distance. And you got True Boy, you got action on your left here, Coltrane. True's got a first down. First and goal at the seven. Two minute warning over there. I'm gonna take the lead against Greeny. True, we'll take off. Be careful. Slides down awkwardly at the four after getting hit. I think Giants fans are okay with McAdoo there on the sideline. I'm not okay with it, and I'm not even a Giants fan. I don't like throwing shade, but that wasn't a great season for Mr. McAdoo over there. New York football Giants world. They benched Eli Manning. I don't care if you go 0 and 16. You gotta, gotta dance with the girl that brought you. Well, worst case scenario for I mean, I don't want to badmouth Geno Smith, but if Geno Smith falls out for you and then you gotta consider rolling with them, it's not like you haven't seen the tape before. Uh, it's a, I don't know, seeing McAdoo, it's just bring, bringing back those memories. Third and goal from the two. Trini using his timeouts, trying to make sure he's got plenty of time to counter score. Ooh, and Drew can get it in there. Little auto motion, fake wide receiver quick. And he's going to roll that way. Oh, God, it's close. He's going to bring up a fourth down from the one yard line. He's been denied here before. Remember, he had a quarterback sneak with Vic three times. We thought he got it. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. And he's going to go for it. He's not in goal line this time. There won't be no QB sneak here. Maybe a scramble. Got to watch that wide receiver quick. Nope. Checks, checks down. Little dive. Got to watch the play clock. That's what I'm done. He's going to call a timeout. That wide receiver quick is a nice play right here. I wouldn't mind seeing him go to that. That's. An auto motion play where out of that single back ace formation, receiver comes in motion behind the quarterback and just kind of quickly hand it off to him. And you try to turn it upfield as fast as you can after the handoff. Some people like to do the spin right out right after the handoff, kind of get you upfield. You gotta think it's good for at least a yard. But that's against normal Madden players. Right now he's going up against the youngest belt winner we have in MCS history and young Drini. Three tight ends to the left. Hands it off right up the gut. No need for flashiness. True boy takes the lead. Yeah, I like that, True. Like you said, no need for flashiness. Let me just get my three tight ends out there. Get some beef up front. I have Alex Mack at center. Let's just line up and punch him in the mouth. Score a touchdown, go up three against Greeny. And I'll tell you, this legend conference, it's just Neck and neck all over the place. Dreamy at three and three. True Boy at three and three. You got Safa at three and three. Dubby at three and three. It's a bit of a log jam there in the middle. And you see the replay just right up the gut, untouched. 
that hoodie true boy. Has he been hoodied up all tournament long? No, this is new. This is new. He had sort of like a, he had like a lumberjack flannel on. In his earlier games, and now he's gone to the hoodie. Hey, sometimes something's got to change. I was a hooper back in the day, you know. If if I went out and had a bad game and a pair of shoes, those were done. We were done. Me and those pair. Yeah, yeah. You, you gotta feel. You gotta look good, feel good. What do they say? You gotta be comfortable when you're playing mad. And I used to always just have a t-shirt, some sweatpants, and some sandals on, with a little side towel just in case you need to wipe the sweats off your hand. I had my best game in a pair of Jordan 7 Raptors, black and red ones. Wore those forever. <laughs> Every time I played, those are the ones. Wore them all the way down. You drop in your best game? I don't want to sound like bragging, so I'll just, I'll say uh, eight points. Eight? No, it was, it was, it was. For the big guys like us, you were not going it was, out It was 43. What? Hey, it was, Did you just say 43? Uh, I, I had D1 offers, my man. I'm calling shenanigans. We, we're hey, we'll pull the out the VHS. We're going to the court after this. Third and seven. Put you on notice. I'm sneaky. 43? 43. That's bananas. 43. 43. Were you Made 11 were three you pointers. Met 11 three pointers. Sixth grader? What was it? Yeah, I mean, it was uh, it was an all girls league, but, you know, I was tough in the post. <laughs> no. <laughs> Right, back, back to Madden football. Third and two. 47 seconds to go before the half. That's one of the many facial expressions of Joe that we'll see all throughout the season. He knows if he can't keep Safa out of the end zone, this is going to be a big chain of events. It's the Joe concern face right there. See him shift his line over there to the right. Account for that, that strong, that strong side there on the right. Hands it off to Walker. Man, he can't get lucky on every single play. Jesus Christ, I already dropped three interceptions. I mean, that last Holy play, fuck. That last play didn't feel too lucky. You shift your line to the right. You're, you're trying to stop the off tackle. He runs dive right up the middle for a first down. Hey, I'm all about a good throwback, but the Madden 17 version of joke, not a fan. He's a little tilted. Yeah, he is. And, and we know he, he, he doesn't play well when he's tilted. The difference between non-tilted joke versus tilted joke is like an 80 overall compared to a 95 overall. Gonna have to kick the field goal here on third down, and it's up, and it is good. One second left before the half, and Safa goes up six. Still very close ball game, one possession. Chuck, can't, can't get too down on yourself here. But you like it, the competitive spirit is still there between these two. They're friends, but not giving each other an inch. Here For these four quarters, all that's out the window. So here at the half, 10 to 10 between Drini and True and Musafa with a six point lead over his buddy. Start of the third quarter, 13 to seven. Musafa able to kick a Last second field goal before the half to push the lead out to six. Yeah, this will be a good second half right here. This is a highly contested battle. And we say it, we say it all the time. When you get two people that are familiar with each other, often laugh with each other, it usually turns into a good game. <laughs> this is gonna be a huge possession for Safa though. Obviously just needs to find a way to get some points, get himself that two possession lead. But Joke has been playing decent, good defense. Seen him get the click on, get the interception. Heard him screaming that he dropped a few interceptions, he feels like. There's the motion. Stretching it out to Walker. Herschel. 
Let's go to Rico with an update. This game is going to be about stick work. Well, Drini showed he's not one to get shown up as he takes the opening kickoff all the way back to the house to take a 17-10 lead over True Boy. Wow, that's some way to start the half. And to be fair, you can talk about you get, oh, oh, you get True Boy and Drini on the sticks. That's two of the best open field competitors we have when it comes to stick work with the ball carrier. So it doesn't surprise me to see highlights like that. I actually expect to see a few more before that game is said and done. Hadn't had many kick returns. Man. Oh, man. I don't know who that was pass rushing like that. But he came in, punched a blocker in the mouth, threw him out the way, got up, and then got a hit on the quarterback. Somebody with that high motor trait. Fourth and five. Play action. Over the middle. There's Grant. Has some room. At the 20. Cuts it back. My God. He has three completions right to me. Oh, come on, man. I I'm not seeing that. Yeah, I've seen you throw similar passes to this. and It's all good. I mean, it's yeah, not even yeah. close. I don't even know what he's talking. It's not close. And it's frustrating when you're a man to play, but that's Joe's fault. You, you had the right idea. You're trying to get back there. You read it right. You wanted to make the big play, but you didn't execute. Executing more than half of the battle. Man, I'm fourth down. God damn, man. You should be mad at yourself more than anybody, Joe. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. I don't like this version of Joe. I don't think anybody does. I like a good elite 92 version of joke. This this kickoff edition silver. I'm not a huge fan. I agree. 99 complaining. First and five. He just wasn't. It wasn't there. You know, we'll we will step in and say, "Wow, should have had that." Yeah, no. We'll be the first to say it, but that wasn't even. The close. reason I can speak to it is I've been there. I know what it's like where I read you like a book. I know exactly where you want to go. I try to go there to make the stop, and I was just a few seconds short with my stick work. And it's frustrating because it's like, I knew where you wanted to go. I was on my way over there. You still threw it. Well, you really wanted to stop me, get into position and do it then. And you know these guys both want to win this for bragging rights. Both part of the same man and crew. It's one thing that the experiences I've had to do for me is I, all these situations they've been in, Coltrane, you can pretty much relate. Oh, absolutely. And you know what it's like to get on tilt. You know what it's like to get frustrated. But after you take some time to reflect and go back and watch the tape, you realize it was those little things that you could have done to be better. Double box action as Drini with a seven-point lead, but True is on a drive. We got both games in the red zone. So ball at the eight. True trying to tie it up. Stretches it. Nothing's there. Wow. Chris Harris Jr. coming in making the play. Joke not even trying to block that kick against Saka down there on the right. That'll make it 16 to 7. That's a nine point lead. So if somebody shows me they're willing to fake a field goal, you're going to catch me in that field goal block every single time in those situations. I'm just giving you, giving you the kick. You're going to have to kick it perfect on my watch. <laughs> So let's check in with Drini and True. Full screen action. Ball at the 11. It's second and goal. Low throw. Jackson fighting. And they're going to mark him at the one. How many times this season has True been third and goal at the one? <laughs> yeah, I literally was about to say <laughs> the same thing, Cole. It's just, I feel like every time we're calling one of this game, it's third down on the one. Derek Brooks didn't come over and lay a hit. He probably would have leaned into the end zone. The handoff to Gurley. Oh, no. oh, oh no, my goodness. True. I'm dead. Wow. It's, so, it's always so close. Just scumming in there. You, you need Gurley to fight for your quad, but now he makes things intense on a fourth and goal. And he got to go for it. Half yard line. Got to tie things up. Three tight ends. Single back or full back. 
Remember, he went up the gut last time. Gonna go in the air. Good he catches read. him in a run commit. Touchdown, True. Good. Get this run and stuff. Put it in the air. Get your points. That was a gutsy play right there by True. New Dreamy wanted to go to the run commit. Kept his poise in the pocket. Easy read. We got a good ball game over here between the two young talents at topmatter.com. Young Dreamy and True. So 101 left in the third. We're tied up. It's Drini's turn to answer. Jukes and Jives his way out to the 48. Great field position. This is a big game. Winner of this one. These guys come down to have an even record at, at the end of the season, and they need to get into the play to determine who gets into the playoffs. The winner of this game will hold that tiebreaker. Chances here in the ultimate league. Every game is important. Every game also worth an additional thousand dollars on top of the prize pool. Anybody that's ever played a meaningful game of you know esports or whatever, when that money's on the line, and there's real implications. It's a different kind of feeling. Oh, balls out! Balls out! And Trini jumps on it. It's going to be a third and one as the bell tolls. Got away punched. with one. Yeah, he gets punched in his mouth right there. Fortunate he's able to recover the fumble. He finds himself in third and one. Didn't see who had the hit, but Walker got basically blew up. Third and one. Go to the outside. Fighting. Let's get a game update. Well, guys, you mentioned Joke playing on tilt a little bit, and this is the kind of thing that happens. A bad read interception, Rico, setting up more points for Musafa. His defense has been no joke all game. That's right, Musafa missed the two-point conversion, so it's 22-7, minute 30 left in the third quarter. Appreciate it, gentlemen. And why not? Let's go over there and maybe uh, take a look at what's going on with 121 left in the third. David Enrico brought you up to date. And now we're live. First and 10 at the 39. Joke trying to get back into this one. A stop here just might do it. Finds Julio. Spins his way to the shield at the 27. Yeah, this is where you can get daggerish. It's not the dagger, but it's daggerish where you pretty much put your opponent on the heels of really losing this game. You're going to need to stop here. If Joe can convert this into a touchdown, get the two point conversion, we'll be right back. Nice throw to the outside, but his heel was out of bounds. Even if he scores the touchdown, you don't need to go for the two point conversion right away. Just kind of let it ride, make sure it's a one possession ball game, try to play defense. Wentz, rolling left. Got a playmaker up there, but he throws it short. <laughs> Was waiting for him to playmaker A. He threw it point blank and picked up the first. Good patience by Joke. Waited for the defender to leave his assignment. Come in pursuit of the quarterback. Makes the right read, gets some yards after the catch. He's moving right now. Wentz again for Joke. Missed X. And then he just throws that one up in the stance. Definitely missed the touchdown right there. He had a split second where that corner route on the left side of the field. Yeah, he's just not throwing the football well. This, this goes back. I mean, I'm not just talking <laughs> ultimate league. I mean, this goes back 10, 12 competitive games. He's not throwing the football well. Yeah, it really started in that club championship game where it was up 10, 10 points against Deliverance. Somehow let that one get away. It's 17-17 between Draney and True, and Musafa with a 22-7 lead at the end of the third quarter. So start of the fourth quarter in a 22-7 game,
between Safa and Joke. It's a big moment right here in this ball game. Joke has got to push it in for seven. Yeah, Joke's not able to get a touchdown here. We might as well go over to that true game. Joke really needs something big here. Keep himself in this ball game in the fourth quarter. Third and seven. Wentz. Oh, fight. Warfield. And Polly reaches out to the two. Part of that 72 Dolphins team that didn't lose a game. Polly Warfield. The real deal, wearing that number 42, that's swag. I like when you drop the ball and call him Polly. Uh, Teddy Ginn Jr. <laughs> I don't know, when you add a, little, add a little flair to it. Hands it off to Herschel. Herschel, 10 carries for 28 yards. Womp, womp, womp. Well, 2.8 a carry. Right back to this off tackle. I have to throw this one in. Herschel fighting. Didn't break the plane. So third and goal. And remember, both of these guys, they run the same West Coast offensive playbook. They bounce back and forth between the Kansas City defense and the Ravens defense. Just completely familiar with what each other wants to do. Safa knows Joke wants to go to this inside run right now. Right now. And Herschel will get in there for six. And with this extra point, it's going to make it a one possession game. And it's blocked. Scooped up. Disrespectful for Lott. And that's huge for a ton of reasons. It was going to be a one possession game, and now it's an 11 point lead. So we told Joke earlier when Safa was kicking his field goal, come out of field goal block. He told us he was going to kick it perfect. He did say he was going to kick it perfect. And he kicked it perfectly right into the hands of Safa. Getting lucky all game. I keep, I keep, I keep hearing them. I got a headset on, I can still hear him. Drops the controller on the floor, immediately goes for the H2O. Three down, three down. First and ten. You get two points and you get the ball. And Herschel carries for two yards. Looking over to the left of the stage, too, Cole. I see some action from True and Drini. We probably got an update coming soon. True showing some emotion over there. Those guys have been in a battle throughout that game. Second and eight. Safa could put this one in the fridge. Drops back, plenty of time, plenty of space. Let's get an update. Guys, we've got a tight one over here. Drini able to take the lead on a 20, a, a field goal to go up 20 to 17, and then Rico, True Boy doing what he does best. Not to be outdone by Drini's stick work on that kick return. True Boy shows they can get it with the best of them as he breaks this run for a touchdown. It's actually 24-20, True up with three minutes left in the fourth. Appreciate it, guys. So, good battle over there. We got an 11-point game here, and here's the fourth and eight. Didn't I tell you we were going to see another highlight play in that game over there? And you see Drew getting nasty. Todd Gurley, a couple good spin moves. Safa making substitutions here. At so it's a big fourth down. Punt formation, you don't see that every day. We'll keep you up to date what's going on over there. Let's slide over since this other game's get real interesting between Drini and True. Four-point lead, Drini's got the ball. He's at the 37. Trying to take it in and take the lead. Nothing there, and here's third down. Yeah, no disrespect to Zoff and Joe, but right now, this is where the action's at. This game is a nail-biter. So that fourth and eight for Safa as we tore ourselves away from it, he decided to punt. So we'll keep an eye on that one, but right now we got third and seven at the 37. Drini trailing by four. It's outside the pocket, makes a throw, and there's Fant. 
I, we got to go on one end or something. I, George I Van, he's a left tackle most feared. You need to look up the ratings. He, he's playing good tight end for Greeny all season long. And we've seen Greeny make changes to his roster all throughout the weeks, but there's not that one guy. consistent guy. Not that guy. I don't blame him. Fans ball, and you see him at the tight end position right now. He motions. Big number 74 on the left edge. Look at him Play running action. around. Look at the sploos. Low throw, and Jackson picks up the first down. And the good thing about having a guy like that at tight end is Drini, who we know likes to run the ball a lot. When you run the ball, got an old lineman there at tight end. That's sure. a beef up front. It'll, We'll move some people back. It's like a, almost a hybrid jumbo package. There he goes right there. Getting the block. The Walker! Away. And genie has got the lead. I don't know what I was more amped about the touchdown or fan getting to the second level and playing that extra block. George Fant from the Seahawks. You're going to get a custom jersey in the mail. Big old 74 with the Seahawks on it. Oh, man. Wait, wait. He must have some speed or some catching. Sure as heck did some good job blocking on that last touchdown. Three-point game. Walk drive for True. Look at it right here. Look at Big 74. Boom, boom. Out in front boom. again. <laughs> Got his hands on three different defenders right there, Scott. get deep into my knowledge next time he gets the ball I'm gonna do some research here on George Fant but it's a three-point game with a 127 to go close to he's got time all three timeouts George Fant is six foot five he played college basketball at Western Kentucky awesome. so he's got some hands very athletic got some hands athletic how about Drini to go and find that item <laughs> uh -huh, that, Late that's digging, that's digging right through there. the archives, going Whoa. up top, it's true. Big swat by Drini. Nice job with Amos to knock it away. Ooh, going up top, lets it rip, look like he might have had him. Drini clicks on, holds that X button, gets the big swat. True's number's not bad, 13 to 16 with Steve Young. This is two of the younger players in the, in the league. Drini has a belt. This is his rookie season, won the Madden Challenge. And True has been our most consistent player. He's been to almost every live final, every major we've had in Madden in the modern MCS era. Yeah, yeah True has been making noise in the MCS era, like I said, for the last two years. And Drini in his first year being eligible to compete. Comes in, wins that belt. Does what he was expected to do. Huge fourth and 12 with 55 seconds to go. True has got to go to the air. Mariota, excuse me, Steve Young. Right number, wrong hand. Good knock away. Big time defense from Draney. That's not game though. True still got the three timeouts. Yeah, he can hold him to three here. Look at this. Get the ball back. Clicks on. Holds that X button and use a SWAT. And that's everything the game of competitive Madden should be. Yeah, that was a good example right there. Not letting the AI do it for you. Click on make a play yourself. Knew not to go for the interception. Holds that SWAT button. Fantastic stick work. A young Greeny Joker. 18 years old from Washington, D.C. Second and seven. There's a timeout by True. That's his second. So third and seven at the 18. You get a stop here, you can hold him to a field goal. This is always awkward if you're a Madden player. You don't know if you want to run or you want to pass and really put him away. Trini goes for the run and still puts him away. And that is a sweep. That's a super sweep. Way outside. Look at this. That's an inside zone, but he recognizes that all the beefs in the middle gets outside to the numbers, turns it up, and then protects his running back by holding that left trigger, right trigger, and tapping the X button to avoid the big hit. And, and he will bend the knee and get the dub. Took the words right out of my mouth. Get his Game of Thrones on, bend the knee. 
He turned that inside zone in almost like a speed sweep, college style, and just used his speed to get to the edge. And Drini with a big, big win over True. And that's two of the best young talents we have on the entire circuit. That was a good battle. But hats off to young Drini to pull out the big win. 63 seconds left over here between Joke and Safa. No timeouts for Joke. He's got the ball. Trailing by 14 at the, at the 29 yard line. Hands it off to Walker. These two guys spend a majority of their time when they're not playing competitively, practicing against each other, making themselves better. And most of the time, Safa said that Joke beats them. But here on the big stage in the Ultimate League, he's got a 14-point lead. Safa, he, he, he's my dark horse in this Ultimate League. I, I think he's going to make more noise than people think. And his, his whole attitude, his hunger, something about him, it, it just strikes me as someone that really wants it. And there's no doubt that Joke has the best res you know, resume in this crew. But Safa is the, he's the roster guru. He's the guy that picks out all these players knows how to use them per to perfection. So obviously, he knows all of Joke's personnel. Yeah, that's a good point, Scott. It's not just about you building your own team. Having that knowledge of the roster has helped you better prepare for other people's teams. You know the weaknesses and strengths of all, all, all the players out there. But it's a good game by the EMB crew. And you got a little salty. A little salty in these. These guys are buds, but yeah, Joke yeah. on full salt. Very disappointed. J joke, you know, he w it went on tilt a little bit, but you know, he's a noble guy. He's, well, he, Safa comes calling again for, for some help with the crew. J joke's gonna be there sure. to answer the call. 27 13, that's the final between Moose Safa and Joke. And Trini, in spectacular fashion, squeaks it out 27 to 24. Let's go down to the third member of our broadcast team, Adrian Lawrence with Drini and True. Thanks, Scott. Drini, you got the win over True. What gave you the advantage so that you could leverage this win? Uh, I really didn't have an advantage. Like, it was a chess match the whole game. That was one of the better games I've played all year. Me and True Boy, like, like we we're both really good players, and it showed that game. Very nice. And True, the experience for you. Uh, it was like probably I think the best I played on offense this whole tournament, so I'm not happy. I mean, I am happy with how I played that game, even though I lost. So I just gotta, you know, keep playing like that going forward. And you're now three and four, and you're about to face Debbie next week. What do you expect? Uh, just you know, gotta look at you know what I did wrong in that game and just you know fix that. That's nothing uh, too you know big, and I think I'll be alright. And Drini, four and three. What do you expect next? I just got to win my next few games, and I'll be in the playoffs. That's That was my goal, to make the playoffs. So my next few games, I got to win those. And in my last game, versus a joke. That's what I'm looking towards, too. Yeah. I want to beat him and get that bye. All right. Well, best of luck to you both. To you guys. 